Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over the Sanderson Farms Classic, the first, I guess, PGA uh, event after the uh, President's Cup. And we're stu we still don't have all the uh, the top players back yet, so it's one of those slates where you have guys that you're not used to being at these high price points, being at these high price points. And you know, I, my my view on these types of slates and these types of you know uh, tournaments is that quite honestly, the difference between these guys and the guys just underneath them is not as, uh, it's not as wide as the reg the normal PGA events where you have the top guys. I think that the, the difference between say the Rom, Schefflers, Rory's and, and the guys a thousand points below them is, is wider than the difference between the Sam Burns, the Thigala, you know, Postons and the guys beneath them. So I'm not going to be afraid of of not getting to some of these 10K guys um, if my, you know, if the projections kind of kind of take me there. Um, I want to go over these these ranges kind of range by range. And listen, this is somewhat early. I don't have full ownership out yet. I have very early ownership views. Um, I just want wanted to get something out to you guys just in case I don't get back to you. Um, by Thursday morning, just because I know I'm going to be busy with other stuff tomorrow. So I want to at least tell you whom I thought, you know, who I like now. Um, and, you know, we'll see, we'll see how that, that plays out over the next day or two. But anyway, in this 10 K range, I actually, I only really think Sam Burns is a top play. Um, I, I, I really don't get to the gala or, or Henley or, or Poston until further down on my value rankings. Um, the, 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 the problem though, is that not the problem that Burns I have currently is probably the highest owned golfer as well. So, I mean, it's fine. I mean, there's no reason just to fade the highest owned golfer. If you think he's it's a really, really good play, but you know, keep in mind that you want to fill those lineups with some lower owned pieces. Um, so for me, in this 10K range, I, I have Burns is very, very playable. I do have Figala and Henley pretty close to my next. my next, And then I have a really big drop down to post. And I, I don't think I would play much uh, much any of him. Um, so that's the pretty much the 10K range. Probably we'll get to Burns, but maybe some Figala and maybe some Henley, but almost certainly not going to get to post. And at least if things kind of stay the way they are right now. Um, all right. The nine K's, uh, I have three guys that I, I, I find playable according to what I'm looking at. Now there are only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys in the whole range. So whatever, but that's, that's something. So I'd like three guys and one of them really just burns me. Um, I don't know why I'm going to keep going back to him, but anyway, uh, one guy I like is Davis Riley. Um, the other one is Scott Stallings. I think he is, he rates pretty nicely. And then I keep getting back to Keegan Bradley. And, and he just always seems to be showing up in my models or more to the point, my kind of like smart aggregation of models and, and, and just doesn't seem to get there for me ever, regardless of price, regardless of spot. But I am still going to play him just because I do trust the data to some degree. Um, and then I guess the next guy on the list is going to be Montgomery. So I think all these guys are pretty are, 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 are pretty decent. They show up as good plays. It's a pretty decent drop for me down to Grillo. Um, so I guess he's going to be the guy that drops off and Bazine who probably drops off and, and McCarthy probably drops off. So I think these four 9K guys are, are ahead of those other 9K guys, at least the way I'm looking at it right now. Um. I have only like I have four guys actually in the 8K range that I like. And again, that's not bad considering there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 8K, 10 8K guys total. So I am being able to knock out like 60% of this for you. I mean, I mean, for me at least. Um, the top one I have is Seamus Power, who is kind of scary. Um I think we do some game logs uh viewing it's you know well i shouldn't say that it got 65th in the bmw 
two missed cuts before that, but I think this is, I think this is a reasonable, I think he's a reasonable play. Uh, so he rates the highest for me right now. Uh, next guy that I have that rates high is Wyndham Clark at an 8K flat. Um, and then I have a pretty, pretty decent drop to Taylor Moore, but I have him as playable. And then the uh, last guy I have in this range is Thomas Dietrich. So I, I like all these guys. Um, after Dietrich, there's a little bit of a drop to Trey Mullinax and, and Christian Kirk. So, I mean, those guys are okay. I shouldn't say that they're they're not good. So let's let's put those in just so that I, I don't forget. So Mullinax is fine and Kirk is fine. I hope this doesn't make a full lineup. No, it doesn't make a Um And as, aside from these guys, the other 8K guys – I'm not really getting to. So no Straka for me, no Hadwin, no Harris English, and no Woodland. All right. So that's how I reduce my pool with the 8K range. Um, the 7K range, you're getting a lot of good value here. I have, you know, I mean, quite a few guys that you can play. Um, as a matter of fact, I mean, who, who can't you play in this range? It's probably easier for me to go through who I don't like, but um, it's just a question of where I cut this off, you know, uh, and, and I would, I would kind of shuffle these seven K's around as far as ownership goes. But until we do that, I will, I will just, I will rate these guys for you. I'll give you my top six, maybe my top six, the top of the list. I have a uh, Dean Burnmeister. Um, he's probably going to get some ownership, but you know, I like that. Then there is Alex Smalley of him. Then uh, another S, the Adam Svensson. I always seem to get to all these guys. And, and another S, you got Steele. And then I'll just give you, I guess, two more. Uh, Rogers, Patrick Rogers. And then there is, uh, what should we call Nick Hardy. Um, so those are the, the top guys I have in the, in the 7K range, at least now. Then then there's like right you – know, just lurking behind is guys like Mark Hubbard, Justin Suh, Stephen Yeager, Luke List. But listen, we are trying to prioritize somewhat. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use these six as my top six in the 7K range. Uh, and then in the 6Ks, um, am I getting to much of anybody – yeah, I'm going to be uh, one of those guys that, that goes back and plays Callum Terran, I believe. Like, he's he's got some talent, and and he, you know, has some good results. And aside from everybody else, I think he's really the one 6K guy that I'm going to get to. Um, I don't really need to get to anybody else. So, um, Callum Terran is probably the one guy from the 6K range that I'll probably end up playing. Or, I, I guess you want to give me one more, I'll say Austin Smothers. All right, so what I'm going to do, again, in case Bobby doesn't get to this, I'm going to go through that kind of um, that game that, I, that, that we play where I, I, I give – well, first, who's going to win the golf tournament? That's question one I'm going to answer. And I'm going to be – go chalky. I will say Sam Burns wins the golf tournament. Um, next one, I will say top guy under 10K to make the top five. Um, all right, let's, I'm going to go with Davis Wright. Top guy under 10K to make the top 10. Top guy under 9K to make the top 10. I am going to go with St. Seamus Power. Uh, top guy under 7K to make the top 20. I will go with Dean Burmeister. Uh, and top guy under 7K to make the cut, I will go with Callum Terrence. Um, and the, the last part, that being the top guy over 9K to miss the cut. Well, how about we go with, and this is kind of a tough one to miss the cut, but, but we're going to try it anyway. We're going to go with Denny McCarthy to miss the cut at under 10K. So again, 
sort of an early look because all the ownerships aren't in and, and a lot of it comes out of ownership. But if you want to know who I thought were the best plays, like kind of as of now, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, and again, again, I'm probably going to be out for a good part of the week, starting towards the end of the week, starting maybe with tomorrow. So I did want to get something up there for you guys. Um, good luck.